So for you that don't know me, my name is Bruce, and this is my pop, yeah. and we're working on the Ford 9700. <laughs> Got it running we decided to put the side panels on and the cowls because what we need to do is we need to put the decals across the side here and we've got a special uh, spray that when you put it on you can maneuver the decals so we're gonna make sure that you know that the decal all looks straight uh, it's not running now but when it was running we didn't have any white smoke black smoke or blue smoke which is yay good stuff and so this is the front. Of course, once the decal is on, we're going to put the name Ford. And uh, this is what it looks like. So the three things that we have to do. Okay. First thing is, yeah, I lost the nut here. So I got to get a new ignition switch. Because the nut's $15. And the ignition switch is $14. Go figure. Anyway. We got to do that and then I tighten these bolts up but we still it's there's a weld in here that broke so I'm gonna grind that out and re, re weld that and then you know we might throw a coat of paint on the back after we sandblast this back part now that we can get the tractor over to where I can sandblast and that's pretty much it then we're just going to go ahead and drive it anyway so that's the ford 9700 I lost some video of us putting this decal on. It was really cool. We used uh, some black spray and what happened is that you sprayed the back of the decal and you sprayed the spot that you wanted to put it on and you were able to adjust it, move it up or down or start back and forth without it having to unstick it and I think it turned out real well. We waiting for you know a couple of days for it to really stick good and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece off and the holes for the Ford emblem are behind here so I'll just drill a hole that way so I'll know where it is and then I can stick the uh, letters straight on there but it's surprising how just a decal can make it look like a brand new tractor so the plan is that we're gonna probably buy a gallon of paint and just essentially throw the paint on there to make it look nicer which brings us down to three things again new switch adjust this arm and i'm going to take i'm going to take these big nuts off and i'm going to put new lock washers on here and retighten them down and of course i'm going to go ahead and uh cut this cut this whole weld off and I'm gonna weld uh, uh, the stick welder in there so that uh, it's the same way as it was before because otherwise I don't want this guy to spin while the tires do not <laughs> 